In our brain, there are millions of cannabinoid uh, receptors. So what does this mean? <laughs> Lots of speculation went on. So naturally, people who are on the dope, they said, uh, this means everybody must smoke, or this means anthropologically all of us, all human beings at some time were smokers. Then they came up with this, that these cannabinoid receptors are there because the body is supposed to produce this. The brain carries millions of receptors, and the body is supposed to produce the endocannabinoids. So, this production it can be either on or off, depending upon how you have kept yourself. That within yourself, you can generate a chemistry which keeps you always blissful. But the most important aspect of it is, when it comes from outside, it keeps you, maybe it makes you blissful for a brief amount of time, but it makes you unaware. When it comes from within, it keeps you blissful and makes you super aware, which is the important thing. So this is not about uh, trying to become some kind of a superhuman being. This is about realizing being human itself is super. And once you are blissful by your own nature, you always see that your life is super. It doesn't matter some situations in our life go well, some don't go well, some happen our way, some don't happen our way, but this one life should be always happening our way. Let's look at it this way. It's a building of million rooms. Most people who live normal life may explore five, ten of those rooms, that's all. The million rooms are just there, unused. So once in a way, if you forcefully enter those rooms, by using a chemical or something else, sometimes it can happen because of injury, sometimes it can happen because of shock, that people enter other spaces of their minds, which they can't believe it is their mind because it looks like a whole new world. It is just like if you had... Uh, if you did not have eyes to see, if you open your eyes, suddenly it's a whole new world. So just like that, if you open your eyes to certain things, it looks like a whole new world. No, it's the same good old world, but it has so many dimensions. And human mind, in its evolutionary process, have gathered so many rooms to it, that most of the rooms are not explored. So what is the purpose of this? The purpose of this is this, if our focus is only on our survival process, if we are constantly activating our survival instinct, then the number of rooms that you explore in your mind will become very limited. If our focus and our attitude is not about survival, because survival essentially means we want to build a wall of protection around ourselves. Well, you see all the creatures are always trying to create boundaries. That comes from our uh, evolutionary memory that we want to survive, and surviving is a very important process. If we don't survive, then what next? There's nothing else. So we must survive. But is it necessary that your survival instinct is always on? If you are a wild creature, yes, it must be always on. But we evolved to this point where our cerebral cortex opened up, blossomed into this possibility, where once you've become a human being, your survival doesn't fulfill you anymore. 